The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance, Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. This week I'm coming to you from the Brewster Flats on Cape Cod where I hope to sight fish for striped bass in this unique environment. These are the largest tidal flats in North America. This is as close as it gets to bone fishing in the Northeast. Now let's check in with the weekend weather with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin. Hey anglers, meteorologist uh, Rich Von Olin here at News 12 Long Island Weather Center. Let's check the weekend forecast, see what we got going on. And uh, we know it's gonna be hot, that's certainly a given. And uh, the winds though, if I were to choose, I would say Saturday is going to be the windier day. You can see, again, more of a west-southwest, about 15 to 20, a little choppy, 2 to 4 feet. So uh, I kind of would avoid Saturday if it can help it. Uh, the sound will be better. The ocean going to be a little bit rough. Again, Sunday looks better, though. You know, the winds kind of shift a little bit to the, uh, the west-northwest. That should be a little bit better. You know, a little 2 to 4 foot roll should be a little nicer. Maybe on the east end, a little rough. But uh, again, Sunday, the pick of the weekend. Either way, hazy, hot, and humid. We get a southwest breeze, 15 to 20. I see some of the higher numbers there on Saturday. So I would kind of avoid that. That's, again, what I'm seeing here. A little better on Sunday. Light northwesterly breeze. It will be hot, but again, probably not as choppy, not as bad. So I would go with Sunday. But uh, both days, you know that, are going to be very hot. So just be careful out there. Mid-90s for highs in the afternoon on Sunday, on Saturday. And Sunday, you know, no picnics, some low 90s there. So just be very careful. Stay hydrated. Uh, be safe this weekend. Good angling. Meteorologist Rich Fodol on News 12 Long Island. Visit News 12 before heading out on the water. Hey, Gulp fans, there are brand new colors of Gulp available, and the fishermen crew were the first ones to field test them in New England a few weeks back. Check out the video now at thefisherman.com or on our YouTube channel. Summer is here, so if you're in the market for a cooler for your boat or your truck, one that is reasonably priced, holds ice for days, and is made in the USA, check out Orca Coolers at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. Now let's check in with Tom Michalowski of Grand Slam Charters in Montauk. Thanks, Tim. Hi, this is Captain Tom Michalowski out in Montauk, and um, this week we've been fishing hard, and uh, we're catching some, some big striped bass, but it, to be quite honest with you, it's not as good as it has been in the past. Um, we, we did get some nice big ones. I got a nice shot on video and um, we let some go and that was one of the ones we let go. Uh, it's just not as good as it should be, so take it for what it's worth. I know what my opinion is. And other than that, the bottom fishing out here continues to be very good. Sea bass are available just about anywhere there's a rock. The same thing with porgies. Porgies a little bit shallower if you want some bigger ones, a little bit deeper if you want some bigger sea bass. And the fluking was uh, pretty good this week, especially if you work bucktails out in 70, 75 feet of water off the south side. Um, with the moon tides, it was a little tough to do fluking right around the point. But if you did it when the tide was uh, reaching its slack point, you did pretty well there also. From Fire Island, Anthony Babbage started out his Saturday morning chasing the bunker pods off of Fire Island when he found some good structure and hooked up to this 23-inch fluke. Joe Toomey was fishing for fluke with live bait when he hooked into this nice cobia. That's the nice thing about fishing this time of the year. You never know what you're going to catch. Rich Figular of Lindenhurst went west to the Meadowbrook Bridge and landed this nice fluke. See, there's still some nice keeper fluke in the back bays. On the San Diego, there's a nice bite of sea bass like this one from Billy Warren. And now let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti and find out more about what's going on around the Fire Island area. Hey Tim, uh, just a little couple of words on the Fire Island report here. It seems like the fishing has picked up. Had a couple of keeper fish yesterday, a, a bunch of fish just undersized, so plenty of action. Lots of sea robins, but now I'm seeing some keeper fluke every trip uh, on the inside. So. Uh, that bodes well. It looks like things are picking up and it should be a good weekend. Good week coming up. The West End Report is brought to you by Rachel's Waterside Grill on the Nautical Mile in Freeport. You hook it, they will cook it. And it's just 12 bucks per entree. Call 516-546-0050 for details. Now let's check in with Joey Leggio. Hey Tim, what's going on? Uh, the reports for the Debs Inland. Actually, before I get the reports, I just want to say thank you to the guys from the Montauk Tackle Company hooking me up with the cool gear, hats and shirts and everything. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. On to the reports. Deb's Inlet, Reynolds Channel, the fluke are there. There's plenty of flukes still to be caught in our in our bays, and there are actually some pretty nice fish. Uh, I did a video last week, I don't know if you guys saw it, had a 6.9 pounder just on a jig head and a gulp. Um, and then I had two trips, actually three trips, 
One trip I had fish to four and a half pounds all in the bay, and the next trip I had a five and a quarter pounder, again, in the bay, and these are all half day, late afternoon trips that I did this. Uh, one was four, four to seven, I'm sorry, three to seven, the other one was a four to eight trip. So there's still some big fish out there. Basically been fishing the deep holes, starting in the deep and 65 feet and working my way up that wall and all those flukes seem to be hanging right on that wall and ledges coming up. And you know, quick drifts, come out of that, go back to it again. Uh, there was a little bit of a weed problem, I guess, because the full moon and everything like that. But other than that, you know, there's still some, some great catches. On the ocean front, sea bass, porgies, and now some cobia being caught. Been seeing quite a few reports of cobia being caught down on Atlantic Beach Reef. Uh, fluke, sea bass, so, you know, everything's where it should be. It was a little bit of a late start, but everything's come together. And also some triggerfish, forgot to mention that. I've been seeing some catches of triggerfish. So all these nice southerner friends of ours are starting to make a show, which is pretty awesome. And if you've ever ate triggerfish before, it's probably one of my favorite fish to eat. A little bit of a bitch to clean, but again, you can see I have a video on it, how to do it, to do it in an easy way, and you fillet those things perfect, and they make perfect pork chops. Every uh, triggerfish, great eating fish. Don't throw them back. You guys got to try them. Other than that, that's basically it. Uh, check out my webpage, I mean, I'm sorry, my YouTube page, and uh, all those how-to videos are on there as well, too. Now let's check in with Chris Ludwig. Thank you, Tim. What's going on? So this past week, I've been doing a lot of fishing out in the open beach again, looking for those big toothy predators, and we did get one. We got a large sand tiger on spinning tackle. That Lamaglass GSB was bent all the way down, and that Gosa 8000 was just ripping. We got him on the outgoing tide, using a half of a bunker, and we got that Noah Apex Predator tag in him, so mission was accomplished. Other than that, all the dogfish, all the sea robins, everything that were in that surf, gone as soon as these things came around. Uh, very exciting. I hope to get out there again, and I'm going to try to get on some of that fluke action. So, hope you guys get out there. Take care. The green flies are here, and so are the mosquitoes and no see -ums, like you see flying all around me. But they're not biting me, because I'm using the all-natural solution to protect yourself from these pests. Captain Ron's made from pure plant extracts, so it smells great, and it's safe, too. From Staten Island, we have Mike Sentry. Thanks, Tim. Hey, fisherman. Mike Sentry here. Guys, what can I say? Offshore bluefin. Non-stop action. Top water. Mark. Four bluefin tunas. Check this out. 130-pound bluefin. Top water. On the mantis popper. Seven inch, two and a half ounce. On fire. Here's also another great fisherman. Matthew. Pair of uh, double headers on fluke. Using the back bays for uh, structure. Between 15 to 20 feet of water. He's avoiding the deep drop offs on the channels. Seems like there's a lot of skates, a lot of uh, dogfish, and a lot of sea robins in these deeper waters. The deeper waters are producing some nice fish. John, here's a picture of John, 14 pound fluke, fish of a lifetime. I believe that one was caught around 55 feet of water. You're gonna have to weed out through a lot of uh, unnecessary game fish that you don't want. So with that said guys, fluke is finally picking up back bays, some deep drop off of the big ones. Tuna fishing, fantastic top water. Hit the local wrecks a few miles out. Uh, what else? Striped bass. His chuck, I believe today, 40 bass from rats all the way up to uh, 25 pounds. So you, you can pick your poison here, guys. Literally, this fishing is fantastic this year. 2019 will definitely close out to be one of the best fishing seasons that I have ever seen. From the North Shore, Mark McGowan is back. Hey guys, it's good to be back. This week's been uh, really good out on the water. It's pretty hot out, but we're coming off a full moon. Seems to be porgies like everywhere. Family time's great. I think uh, one of the funnest parts of this week has been uh, snappers started moving in. So we got some kids having good times down on the dock on the uh, beach there, snapper spearing, you know, the regular stuff, nothing exotic. Just stick to what you've been doing for years. And uh, it's been a good time. It seems like worms are out fishing uh, clams on the beach and uh, clams spearing are doing just fine out there on the boat. You can use worms. It's always a no-brainer. But uh, sea bass, sea bass are still out uh, deep. You got to go deep and um, keep working those. Uh, this moon tide is going to be picked up, so it's looking nice. We should have some more bass action, plenty of schoolies along the beach with these cinder worms we just had. And keep your eyes open for uh, bunker action out there in the sound. Um, on and off, we're seeing some uh, splashing. So uh, keep your eyes peeled early morning, evening, best times of all. And uh, after that, just go out and have yourself a good time. Uh, a lot of drifts, I haven't done much anchoring, but um, plenty of fish. Let's check in with Hawaiian Dan. 
Thanks, Tim. Aloha! I'm Hawaiian Dan of TalkFishTV.com, reporting on the central north shore of Long Island today in my Sea Eagle Fish Gift 16, a 16-foot inflatable fishing skiff designed by yours truly to help put you on the catch and so that you can deflate it, roll it up, and it'll fit in the back of your car. Now, the inshore regions are completely flooded with adult-sized bunker, not to mention grass shrimp and rain bait no bigger than two inches. The game is always the same. Match the hatch and the presentation the best that you can. This time of year, super hot during the day, so that night bite where the cooler water temperatures come in is the right bite for me. Stripers cannot resist the Tsunami 4-inch holographic black back split tail soft baits. I've said it before and I'll say it again because they consistently produce this season. If you don't have at least three packs, you're missing out. If you're here on the North Shore, drop by Miller Place Bait and Tackle, talk to Jim, Sue, and Misty, and they'll be sure to hook you up with what you need. Now. Porgies and Fluke are also in on the night bite, so there's plenty of reasons to get off those couches, get up a little bit of sleep, get out there and fish. So until next week, this is your favorite man, Hawaiian Dan, reminding you to spread that aloha, and no matter where you are, continue living the island life. Aloha. If you're looking for a quality fishing boat that's affordable, check out a Sea Pro powered by Suzuki for less than 400 a month. Get you into all the action. Visit Kale's Family Boating Center for a test ride today. Now let's check in with Kenny Cannon. Thanks, Tim. Been doing pretty well in the North Port area. Porgies, uh, like that's been going on for a month. Uh, fluke, Sea Robin, mainly short fluke from Hobart's Beach all the way up to like the Coast Guard area, but inside the bay. Haven't done much in the sound. The current has been ripping through there really quick uh, in the sound, so haven't been able to get a good drift. But inside the bay, uh, the fluking has been pretty consistent along that whole entire stretch of beach. Uh, the other thing, too, are the bunker schools. There are bass underneath the bunker schools. I haven't seen any bluefish, but there are bass underneath the bunker schools. Uh, so if you can find them and you're not in this intense heat wave, which can be at night, I guess, uh, then you'll probably have a good chance of catching them. That's mainly what I'm going to be focusing on coming up this weekend for the rest of this week is bass at night on the bunker schools. Because, again, there's tons of bunker all across, in, into the sound, but all across Northport Bay, Centerport area, Huntington area, and there is bass underneath them. So if you can get out there when it's a little bit cooler out, dawn, dusk, uh, or even in the nighttime hours, you should do pretty well. All right, guys, so that is all for Northport this week. Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time. For our surf report, let's hear from senior editor Fred Galafaro and hear what he has to say. Hey, thanks, Tim. And yeah, it sure seems we're in the summer doldrums now. Hearing more about sharks, rays, uh, kingfish, fluke, even porgies uh, from the beach. Uh, very little on bass and blues, the exception being Montauk, where there has been a, a steady action with bluefish most days along the north side. Uh, a few school bass mixed with them and more bass at night, but again, on the small side, not hearing any big fish. Uh, again, you know, Shinnecock Inlet, some scattered reports there and also the North Fork, but uh, if you're looking for bass or blues, those are the places to focus your attention on right now. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, last week my son and brother-in-law were diving the back of Cupsog and Rich's Inlet, loaded with bass according to them, uh, primarily small fish, but a few fish in that 32, 34 inch range, but lots of them, especially along that backside, and nobody fishing for them. Uh, hey, this Saturday, uh, the Surf Rats Ball Shindig that's being held out at uh, Kenny's Tight Lines Tackle Shop in Sag Harbor. This is a great event. You know, a lot of the top surf casters show up there. It's an awards ceremony basically for the uh, Surf Rats Ball Tournament. But it's just a great day. They have a super raffle with a lot of great prizes and, the, and it benefits the uh, Moore, M-O-R-E. And that's a group that helps kids with terminal illnesses. So it's a great cause, great food, great ribs and burgers by the chef. Uh, try to make it out there again. That's this uh, this Saturday morning. It begins uh, anytime from anywhere from 9 a.m. through 2 p.m. So get out there if you can. And I know it's hard to think fall surf with 90 degree temperatures out here, but it's time to put the fishermen's uh, inshore surf show on your calendar. Uh, that's going to take place on September 19th. That's a Thursday night at the Huntington Hilton. Uh, doors open at 6. Goodie bags for the first 500 people. And that's another great event, great night. A lot of camaraderie. You see lots of people you normally see on the beaches and in the shops. 
have over 75 vendors so you can stock up for the fall run and um, again just a great time great lineup of speakers including Bill Wetzel uh, Matt Broderick and uh, we've also got uh, John Skinner coming this year so make it down there looking forward to seeing you until next week Fred Golafaro here for thefisherman.com now let's get our fly fishing report from Paul McCain hello Tim this week, we had a shop trip here to a short drive from Long Island to the Hoos, beautiful, beautiful Housatonic River for smallmouth bass. It was a fantastic trip. 13 people, over 50 fish caught, fly of choice, big meaty streamers. It was great. Now, the Long Island Fly Riders had their trip over to the Connecticut this weekend and uh, this Monday, and they did fabulous. Everybody was reporting big fish. Norm's doing a terrific job of keeping that, that nice spring creek filled with big fish. On the saltwater scene, surprising, Jim told me that Brown Bay Park, there were bluefish. So, I mean, there are fishing to be had out here. We are, we are definitely in the heat of the summer, and this is the time to change your tactics. If you want, to, if you want trout, Fish the spring creeks, fish the tailwaters. Do not fish the free stones. This river right here, smallmouth. Don't fish for trout. Until next week. Thank you. And tight lines, everybody. Now I'm going to go catch some more of these smallmouth. For links and more information, be sure to check out this video's description on YouTube. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to The Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. This is Tim C. Smith for TheFisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Rude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in The Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.